Hey guys, and welcome to the show. My name's Jamie, your super excited host, because this is our very first episode of Four Stroke Instructionals. This here is Gizmo. He's looking for treats right now. Anyway, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on long introductions, because this show is covering something very important. It's something every new filmmaker needs, and that's a microphone. So, if you're new to filmmaking, and you just blew your entire budget on your camera, or if you're like me and your wife spent your entire filmmaking budget, you still gonna want to stop using that microphone that's built into your camera, like, like I am right now. That brings us to our build today. We're gonna build a great little microphone that's gonna be able to clip right to your shirt. This thing is gonna be great for things like interviews or addresses like I'm doing right now, or even hooking to your actors for your short films. When we're done, we're gonna be able to plug this little guy into things like your computer, into a little audio recorder like this one, or even into most cameras. So I'm not gonna waste any more time, let's get on with the build. My parts list includes a computer microphone which I got from the dollar store, a 3.5mm headphone jack I found in my parts bin, I also used an alligator clip, a business card, a spool of thread, heat shrink tubing, a lighter, electrical tape, and because I didn't have black electrical tape, a sharpie. The tools I used on this project include a soldering iron, solder, a multimeter to determine polarity, and my trusty multi-tool. Super time lapse? First, fire up your soldering station and start getting it warmed up. Next, pop open the microphone housing and pull out the microphone. Grab your soldering iron and start removing the cables, taking special note of where the positive and negative terminals are. Take a close look and make sure there's no cross-contamination and that no solder is touching the outer metal housing. You can use the cable that your microphone comes with, but mine was way too flimsy and I didn't think it was going to be durable enough. So I dug around in my parts bin until I found a beefier cable and this one already had the end I needed. I stripped off the wire and the insulation and separated the individual wires. I also stripped off a little bit of the insulation from both the left and the right channel wires. At this point, I used my multimeter to confirm the polarity. It was a lot like this diagram here, and yours should be very similar. I cut myself a piece of heat shrink tubing, and I slipped it down the cable. Now remember, if you forget this part, you won't be able to use the heat shrink tubing. I wanted to have the microphone sound come out of both the left and the right channel, so I twisted the wires together and I tinned the tips. Now it's time to reassemble everything. Solder your new wires to your microphone and make sure that you don't get the microphone too hot. Also make sure that no solder comes in contact with the outer housing. I slid the heat shrink tubing up the length of the wire and I heated it up with a lighter. If you don't have heat shrink tubing, you can also use electrical tape. Now it's time to make the body of the microphone. Cut a strip out of your business card and roll it into a tight little ball. Now, place your ball of paper below the microphone and wrap the whole thing tightly in tape. This will form the body to attach your clip. Now it's time to make the clip. Grab your alligator clips and remove the cover. You're not going to need the cable, so cut the cable off as close to the clip as you can. Next, I grabbed a bunch of thread, about an arm length. My clip had a small hole in it, so I fed some thread through the hole, and I used that as the initial grasp to the microphone. Now take your thread and wrap it tightly around the microphone body. Once all the thread has been used up, tie several knots onto the end and clip any loose ends. So as you know, I didn't have any black electrical tape, so I used a sharpie to color the whole thing black. And there you have it. Your DIY lapel mic is done. So the microphone's complete. I've already taken it outside to test it. And I bet you're wondering how it sounds like. And as you can hear, the thing actually sounds pretty good. Now, as I was saying, I was outside testing it and I found out that it was picking a lot of wind noise up. So I built myself a little windsock out of the finger of a children's glove and it seems to be working pretty good. Anyway, keep in mind that this is not a perfect solution and you're, wanna gonna, you're gonna wanna upgrade this as soon as you can. But until you do, it's definitely gonna increase the quality of the audio in your films and that's what's important. Anyway, tune in next week when we hack a rock band microphone. We're gonna use it for ADR as well as interviews. See you next time.